Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel and in today's video we'll be solving the MySQL hacker rank problems and in the previous video we have solved up to question number 10. Today we'll be continuing from the weather observation station in number 11 and again if you are new to this channel I have left uh, the video links uh, in my description and again all the problem statements are in my description so you don't have to visit the website individually. You can directly click the link and you can start uh, with the problem statement. For this video you don't need much you just need a hacker rank account and you're ready to go so let's get started okay so coming to the weather observation station 11 which states that query the list of city names from station that either do not start with vowels or do not end with vowels your result cannot contain any duplicates so this is pretty straightforward it states uh, we have to use a distinct uh, city column from the table station and uh, you have to use the SQL wildcard which we have used in the previous video to determine whether the uh, city name start with or end with the vowel okay so here in this case we do not want them to start or end with the vowel so you have to negate the answer for that we know you have to use the not operator and then select a distinct city from the table station where city not reg exp which is the wildcard so city not in the reg expression where we have to use the caret operator just to uh, show that uh, it is not starting and not ending with the vowels so we have used this in previous video also so i'll just explain you in a bit so here the caret operator states that it is not starting with a e i o u and using the pipe operator you are separating the uh, alphabets and this doesn't end here or city not r e g e x p now this time you have to use the dollar sign which states that uh, it is not ending with the values a e i o u and that is it let's just run this code and you can see that it is correct so let me just explain you again in case you are new to this video uh, you can just go ahead and click the links in my description in the previous video I have, we have solved a problem like this so you can access that uh, using the link so here you are selecting the distinct city which states that it won't contain any duplicate value and your table name is right here and you are using the negation operator which is the not operator in mysql which will will return the opposite of the given statement here so here in regxp you are giving the uh, starting alphabets as a e i o u and again giving the ending alphabets as a e i o u so hence it is not starting or ending with any vowels all right so moving on to the next question question station 12 and this states that query the list of city names from station that do not start with vowels and do not end with vowels your result cannot contain any duplicate values so this is like the last problem but in this case it is not starting and not ending with vowels in the last question we have used the or operator but here you can directly give uh, the regular expression of the wild card in the same line such that it is not starting and as well as not ending with any vowels so pretty straightforward let's just use mysql for this and your query will go something like select uh distinct city from station where and uh, the city not reg exp and uh, here i have combined all using the pipe operator and uh, in pipe operator which will be uh, like separating each alphabet here and you're using the caret operator and the dollar sign operator to give the uh, wildcard as it is starting as it is ending from the uh, given alphabet which is a e i o u in our case so this will be a long statement somewhat like this which states uh, starting with a e i o u as well as ending with a e i o u and that is it ending with a semicolon let's just run this and as you can see this is correct so this was a really easy question and uh, we'll just move on to the next question. Observation station number 13 
Now coming to the weather observation station 13, which states that query the sum of northern latitudes from station having values greater than 38.7880 and less than 137.2345. And you have to truncate your answer to four decimal places. Okay, so this is not uh, that hard. It looks hard, but uh, you have to use the round and as well as the sum operation to get the latitude. And again, you have to round off to the four decimal places. And uh, you have to use the relational operators, which is greater than and less than to uh, use in this query. So let's just use MySQL for this and check out the query. So you have to select round. Now round in MySQL will round off the value, whichever uh, variable you give here. I mean the co column name you give here. So in this case, it is it is lat n. Uh, yep, it is lat n. Now we need the sum also. So sum of this again in the bracket and you need the sum to be rounded off to four decimal places. So you'll give a comma and four. Now the sum of the lat n will be rounded to four decimal places. And that is it. You have to select it from the station where lat, I think the column name is lat n. Yeah, lat and uh, which is greater than where lat n and it is greater than uh, 38.7 yep 38.77 i mean 7880 as well as uh, lat n is less than 137.2345 and that is it you combine these two where statement using the AND operator. Let's just run this. And as you can see, it is correct. And the answer is rounded off to four decimal places. So it is correct. Uh, moving on to the next question. The weather observation station 14, which states that query the greatest value of the northern latitudes lat n from station that is less than 137.2345. 2345 truncate your answer to four decimal places now this is somewhat similar to the last problem but in this case you need the uh, maximum value or the greatest value so in sql we know that we have max and min uh, which is uh, coming under the aggregate function so we'll be using the max to round off to four decimal places and again use the where clause to find it out pretty straightforward using mysql so your query will go something like select round now in round you need the max of the lat n lat n and this will be rounded to four decimal places from station where lat n less than 137.2345 and that is it let's just run this And yes, that is correct. And you can see your last values are rounded off to four decimal places. Great. Moving on to the last question for this video. Problem weather station number 15. Now coming to the last problem here, which states that query the uh, western longitude long W for the largest northern latitude Latin in station that is less than 137.2345. Round off your answer to four decimal places. Now for this, it is asking the western longitude, which is uh, from the uh, northern latitude. So by reading the first statement, you can understand this is asking us for a subquery. Now subquery in MySQL is nothing but a query inside a query where the inside query is executed first and that output is given to the first query. So we have to use the in, uh, I think the in operator to execute the query. So we'll choose MySQL and let's see how it goes. So first you have to give select and again you have to round the value for uh, long W which is uh, longitudinal west to four decimal places. I'm sorry inside uh, bracket. Yeah four decimal places. Now this is from the station table. 
this is from the station table where the lat n will be in the query of now again you have to start the bracket let's give some tab right now we have to give some uh, space or tab here to show that this is a sub query now inside the brackets you have to give again the select statement now select max of lat n and this will be from station and here you have to use the where clause where lat n is uh, smaller than 137.2345 let's just run this and check it out okay so there's uh, some error right here where did we go wrong station okay so there's a problem with the round bracket this should end here because this is a sub query it should contain this as a whole statement so sub query will ex get executed first and then it will go back to the first query let's just run this again I hope uh, this is correct now and yeah this is correct you are getting the max value as well as it is rounded to four decimal places okay so that's a wrap for this video now and in the next video we'll be solving more hacker rank questions we'll be continuing the weather observation station number 16 so make sure you are subscribed to this channel uh, the video will be coming soon and uh, thanks for watching